Hi YouTube, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today I'd like to talk about the disabled settings or known as accessibility settings on the Doro 8030. Let's get into this. There are two different methods of changing the settings on this device. Doro have made their own method, which I think is easier and the best way to change the settings to suit you and your needs for this device. The other way of changing these settings is in advanced settings, which I will show you later on. And this is the Google standard that come pre-installed with this Android device. First of all, I'm gonna go through the Doro way of changing the settings that you may need to change. This is done in three easy steps. Step one is slide up. Step two is hit set. And then finally, step three, we can change a display option an audio option which will help us use our device in a much better way. So I'm gonna go through these now and then I will show you the advanced options a little bit later on. So if we want to change a display option, so in here I'll go through, we can change the text size. So click on text size. You can then click on this box here and adjust this however you so wish. So extra large, which is fine. We can hit our back button here, remember that arrow pointing back, the screen brightness that we can change, text contrast we can change as well, color inversion, so we can turn this on, just toggle this on, hit confirm, as you can see, it goes black background with a white text, again you can see it's nice big bold text, and then we have color correction as well, and there's a list of different varieties here, that you can go through then change. Remember to select one and then hit confirm. Then we can set the audio slightly different as well for this device. So we tap on audio. So we can change the volume, the ringtone, and we can also set up this device to work with a hearing aid, which I think is a fantastic option. And this phone is ever so loud, which is great. Also on this device, it offers an assistant button. So you can press this and this will alert someone that you've preset to let them know that you may need help or there might be something wrong, which I think is a fantastic feature. So in settings where we can set something here, we've got an assistant option. So in here we can put my assistant button, my information and remote help. So we can set this up in case that we do need to actually use that button. Hopefully it will never be needed. That is the way how Doro set up and changed their settings for this phone. It's so easy to use. It's a nice big display, nice big text to actually read, very clear, and the sound is very loud as well. As I discussed in the beginning of the video, there is an option to go into the advanced settings to see Android settings that came pre-installed on this device, and you can change them as well. While you're in this menu here, slide down, go to another page. You need to go to general options, scroll all the way down till you see advanced settings here click in advanced settings. So once you're in advanced settings, you need to scroll all the way down again till you see this option here, which is accessibility. And as you can see in here, you have further options to change them settings, which we've previously seen in the Doro method. So you have talk back, this will describe everything that's on the display. You have switch access, captions, magnification gestures. So if I go in here, toggle this on, one, two, three, three quick taps of the screen will actually magnify the whole screen and then you can use that pinch to zoom method. One, two, three, toggle that on or off and that will work anywhere on the display. You have large text, which is already toggled on, but in the Doro method, you had the option to change that size of text. Again, we've got high contrast text, power button to end call, auto screen rotate, which is always on at the moment because when we move into the dock, speak our password, we can add a shortcut to accessibility settings on the home screen, text to speech output, touch and hold delay, color inversion and color correction, which we have seen again in the Doro method. If I just scroll back up to the top and talk about this talk back, this is a fantastic feature. I have to hit okay in agreements. You can then highlight this box here and it will actually audio dictate what's on there. When TalkBack is on, your device provides spoken feedback to help blind and low vision users. For example, it describes what you touch, select and activate. If you have turned TalkBack on accidentally, turn it off by tapping the switch until the green outline is around it, then double tapping it. Do the same interaction for the resulting confirmation dialog. 
So as you can see there, it audio dictates everything that's highlighted. We can actually tap some of the things up here in our taskbar. 22%. And it tells us what's actually up there. Most people that are visually impaired or have very little sight do use this. That is a great feature to see on this phone. And I think this makes the Doro 8030 one of the most accessible phones for people with a disability and ease of use phones that I have seen in a very long time. So well done to Doro for doing that. So to toggle this off, highlight, double tap. Okay, double tap and that's it. That is how simple and easy it is to use. So if you do have any problems with any of these settings, or if you do need any more help, please drop a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to help. I hope you've enjoyed this new style of video. I'm trying to bring a more informative style of video and change it slightly. Thanks always for watching. Remember, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for all our latest videos. From me, Ricky, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.